Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at our web app terminal 2.1. But first, we're going to discuss how to access the terminal, what devices and displays are available, and then we're going to briefly look at the apps and their usability. In the second half of the video, I'm going to describe and then demonstrate the basic controls of the web apps directly in the terminal. Factory Data Capture provides an up-to-date overview on all work orders. It is used for a simple reporting of work order times, statuses and quantities, goods issued and receipting and retrieving various inventory information. Data can be registered via web and PC. Functions are made available in apps collected in the Program Group Terminal. The web application's version 2.1 is accessible with any handheld smart device such as smartphones, tablets and desktop computers. It supports GS1, formerly EAN or UCC 128 standard barcodes for reading items from master data and supported BEAS, SAP and Protomax WMS bin warehouses for production transactions. Our main device is Zebra TC20 with keyboard. You can open the web terminal 2.1 from inside SAP Business One by going to Tools and selecting Web Server. Do not close this window while working with the terminal. The system does automatic port search. When you click on the web application version 2.1, your default browser will open the login screen for the terminal. We enter the card number of a selected personal and the home screen of the terminal opens with all the available apps for this worker. Please note that you can regulate which apps should be available to a worker in the same manner as in the case of terminal version 1.0. If you're using a computer to work with the web apps, it is recommended to set Google Chrome as your default browser as you can simulate the various screen sizes and the exact screen that your shop floor workers are looking at. Thanks to the responsive design, the view adapts the screen size and it displays more information on larger screens. Upon logging into the terminal, the apps available to the user appear in the screen. They include apps related to time recording like login logout, inventory management like goods issue, Goods Receipt, Goods Receipt PO, Batch Serial Inventory Information, Inventory Counting by Item and by List, Inventory History, Stock Transfer Request, Stock Transfer, Warehouse Stock, and the Picking Apps, Picking List SAP, Picking SO, and Pick Delivery. You can also manage production transactions with our work order based apps, such as Work Order Start and Stop, Work Order Goods Issue, Work Order Goods Receipt, Time Receipt, Start and Stop Interruption, and Work Order Backflushing. We also have a UI and UX app available to provide you with practical information on developing your own web apps. Now let's go through the apps and their usability. The Login Logout app you can use to monitor attendance and log on on off the terminal. The Goods Issue app makes it possible to issue multiple items of all types with a single document. Once a goods issue document is created, it appears in the relevant screens of SAP Business One. The Goods Receipt app makes it possible to create a receipt for multiple incoming items of all types with a single document. With the Goods Receipt PO app, you can create a goods receipt for multiple items of a purchase order with a single document. With the Batch and Serial Inventory Information application, it is possible to get stock on warehouse information for batches and single serials. Use the Inventory Counting by Item app to select a counting list, read item barcodes and add quantities to an existing counting list without displaying the counting list and you can use the inventory counting by list to select the counting list and edit the quantity directly in the list view. Please note that this is for the BEAS inventory counting and it does not work with the SAP standard module. With the inventory history app it is possible to display stock information on selected items And with the Warehouse Stock app, you can get physical warehouse information together with detailed inventory within the selected warehouse. With the Stock Transfer request, you can save a stock transfer request in the system. And with the Stock Transfer app, you can move the stock from one warehouse to another. We have a range of applications dedicated to picking. With the Picking List SAP app, you can select an SAP picking list and create a reservation for each selected item in BEAS. While with the Picking Sales Order, you can pick quantities using the SAP Business One Sales Order as a reference and reserving in the BEAS system.
The Pick Delivery app provides for the delivery document. With this app, you can create a delivery document for the reserved quantity on a sales order or picking list. We also released the number of production transaction apps. With the Time Recording app, you can report time without starting or stopping an operation. The work order start and stop make it possible to log in or log off a work order operation. In these apps, you can scan the barcode of the work order position to log in. We have also released a new work order back flashing app. With the work order goods receipt app, you can create receipts in a work order position, assembly and all bomb positions with zero or negative quantity. And with the Work Order Goods Issue app, you can create a multi-line issue document and define the items to post out for a work order position. Last but not least, our interruption apps, Start and Stop Interruption, are meant to log the beginning and the end of an interruption for a resource in the system with interruption reasons. In this last section of our video, let's discuss the overall controls and behavior of the terminal. If we look at the top bar of the home screen, we can see the name of the terminal with the drop-down menu. Here you can reload the terminal or log out to start working with another user. In the top right hand corner you have additional options, for example the print solution which allows for the printing of documents once set up in the authorization groups for each app. The following controls are provided with the solution. Please note that the number of controls inside an app may vary depending on its complexity. When you click on an app, the overall layout will include a home button, the name of the app with a drop down menu, a function button, typically save, a number of tabs and filtering fields. Tapping on the home button will always navigate back to the starting screen with all web apps available for the user. When opening an app, there is a number of tabs to enter information. The system indicates that mandatory information is to be added for the current item line with a red frame around the field. The related item specific fields become active only after providing mandatory information and only if the field is applicable at the current item. After adding all the lines to a single document, tapping the save button creates a document. Please note the save button remains inactive until all mandatory information is filled for the line currently being edited. It is also inactive at apps designed for providing information only. Document creation is verified with a message box. With the plus icon, you can add lines to the document. When active, the magnifying glass is of blue color. Tapping on it opens a new search filtering screen for the given field, and a full catalog of items appears with a filter field to narrow down the search. Auto completion is available. With the Recycle Bean icon, you can delete the line from the current document and with the navigation bar in the bottom of filtering screens, it is possible to scroll a list to select an item. This concludes our general introduction of our Web Terminal 2.1 and our current web apps. For other buttons, extended information, filtering windows and field information, please consult our online help and get in contact with us in case you had any further questions. Thank you for your attention and please stay tuned for our upcoming videos in this topic.